In this series, we head to Southeast Asia to explore Vietnam and Cambodia. Expect a trip full of culture, cuisine, and surprises, <laughs> as most things did not go to plan. If you're new here, hello, my name is Dane. I left the UK to pursue a life of travel and adventure. I set up this channel to inspire you to go out there and see the world. If you want to see what solo travel is really like, make sure you hit subscribe to keep up with the weekly adventures. I aim to show you the reality of travel as it's not always rainbows and sunshine. This trip was not only inspiring, but very challenging as you will see over the series. Travel is an unpredictable adventure full of highs. This place is incredible. Lows, I'm just too scared. We just nearly had a crash. I'm petrified right now. I am not having a good time right now. And everything in between. So buckle up and get ready for this Asian adventure. It's one you won't want to miss. Enjoy. Well, good morning from Sydney International Airport. I'm here with all my backpacks this morning. We are off to country number 41 today. I think that's quite amazing. I've managed to somehow document a lot of my travels on YouTube. As you can see from the title of this video, we are off to Cambodia today. No, not Cambodia. We're going to Vietnam first, but we are going to Cambodia. So the plan for today is, firstly, hello, how are you doing? I'm sure this bag is so annoying. I kind of opted for a backpack for this trip and mainly because I'm just going to Vietnam and Cambodia. So we're gonna be spending five weeks in Southeast Asia doing those two countries. We are meeting up with someone special, so I'll share a little bit more on that later in today's video, but today is gonna be a travel video. People think travel is glamorous. I'm gonna show you how it's not glamorous. So let's go, guys. Right. right, firstly, we've got to check in for our flight. So this is the flight that we're getting today. We have two flights to get. We are going to Ho Chi Minh. I think the weirdest part about this whole experience is that I have not left Australia in seven months. I've done a lot of travel inside Australia, but I haven't actually been international in seven months. So I've been feeling really nervous for this trip. I'm so excited to show you guys all the cool things we're gonna get up to, but I'm really nervous. This is the first time I've been really nervous. I also feel like I have my whole life hanging off me right now. I've got a GoPro bag, another bag. Kind of wish I just opted for a little suitcase for this trip. So firstly, we are going to get, I believe it's like an eight hour, 50 minute flight from Sydney to Ho Chi Minh. And then I booked a second flight because we are going straight up to Hanoi. So today is a really big travel day. I'm not looking forward to it, but I kind of am. There is some crazy check-in queues, so I'm hoping that that, oh my God, no. I think I've got a massive queue. Oh my God. Okay, I can confirm this is the queue. I feel like I'm gonna be here for a while. And I was not wrong, this queue was insane. The queue went on and on. And on. The general rule is to get to the airport two hours early for domestic flights and three hours for international. You'll see later on in the video how I just did not have a good experience with this airline. Firstly, I tried to check in on the app and online, but it didn't work. Had I been able to do this, I could have done the bag drop, which would mean less queuing for me. I got in the queue at 8.50 and didn't leave till 10.40. Okay, finally made it through. It's freaking 10.40, so that means I was stood in the airport queue for an hour and 50 minutes, and now I have an hour to get my flight. One of the first things the lady said to me was visa and passport, and I was like, oh my God, I don't need a visa, do I? If you're from the UK, you get up to 15 days visa-free in Vietnam, so we are flying with Vietnam Airlines, and yeah, I have a few things to say, because I feel like this morning has not gone to plan. Okay, I feel better now. I have a coffee. I feel like I needed this wake up. As per usual, I didn't get much sleep before my flight this morning. And now I can just relax for like 20 minutes. So I always think it's sensible to get to international flights at least three hours before, which is what I did. I honestly pictured myself bruising through and then catching up on some work for like two hours with a coffee in hand. And that is not the reality right now and I have a full day ahead of me, so I already feel a bit stressed. This was my first time flying with Vietnam Airlines, so I was so excited to experience a new airline. When I sat down, I was lucky to have the window seat and they gave you the usual pillow, blanket, headphones, and toiletry bag. A big problem on this nine hour flight is that they didn't have any food for me, which I will get onto later. My screen was also broken, meaning I couldn't really watch things. I kept trying to watch films, but the screen would glitch or fast forward. 
or just go black. During this entire five week trip, I had three flights with Vietnam Airlines and let's just say it didn't get any better. I'm giving this airline a three out of 10. Sorry, it's not personal. This airline is just not for me. So we have just arrived in Ho Chi Minh. The excitement is real now. I feel like this morning I was a mess. I had a little nap on the plane. I'll catch you guys up a bit more. I just got a SIM card for like 250,000 Vietnamese dong, I think it's called. I'm gonna get some food because I have a few hours until I fly to Hanoi. I'm in Southeast Asia. It's been, it's been a while. I'm so excited, oh my God. So I'm in the Ho Chi Minh airport and it's reasonably calm. I think I can only compare it to when I went to Thailand a few years ago and it was mental when I left the airport. Ho Chi Minh airport, it's pretty quiet right now. It's November the 3rd, 2022. Maybe like post pandemic, it's a bit quieter. Just gonna get some food because I am so hungry. Like I'm so hungry. All I had on the plane was bread and a few snacks. We are greeted in Vietnam with a bit of rain. Kind of not surprised, I've heard it rains quite a lot in Vietnam so I'm just gonna walk over to the domestic terminal get myself some food because as I said I'm pretty hungry right now okay so I've just checked in through security I have popped into the first place that I've seen for food because I had breakfast at about 7 a.m. this morning and I didn't really eat much on the plane um, I just got some vegetable noodle things from the airport and a bottle of water I'm gonna have to get used to the currency because it came to 144,000 Vietnamese dong, which sounds like a lot, but it's actually not. You do not know how happy I am right now. This was like the only option on the menu. I'm a vegan and I've gone for a vegetarian noodle dish. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get pretty, uh, pretty naughty with this dish right now because I'm starving. I don't know if it's because I haven't eaten all day, but these noodles are insane. We have been on a lot of flights on this channel and most of them have been really good experiences. But I have to say, as a first time flyer of Vietnam Airlines, I'm not like an airline reviewer, I don't know much about them, but generally I have good experiences. Today was not a good experience, and I'm gonna tell you why. So firstly, I did get to the airport over three hours before I was meant to depart. I spent about two of those hours in the check-in queue. I just felt like the queue wasn't moving, and it just, it just made me feel really stressed. The second thing is, I didn't eat on the plane, which was like a nine-hour journey. So about five days ago, I tried to request a special meal. I'm vegan, vegetarian. So I tried to request that online, their system wasn't working, so I sent them an email like five days before the flight and then they got back to me and they said, let us know which one you want. So I emailed them back saying like vegan vegetarian and then they emailed me the day before to say, sorry, it's too late, it's within 24 hours, so we can't do that. And I was just like, but I emailed you five days ago, but okay, whatever. The customer service was really amazing. On the flight, I think the guy that was looking after our area did feel a bit bad. So the options were meat or seafood, and obviously I can't eat those, so the guy went and got me some like two bread rolls, and then they found some cakes from the business class, which they bought over with some fruit. So I had a little nibble on some of those, and I just was like, uh, it's not the best. Um, so that's why I was extremely hungry just then. My TV screen, I don't really, I'm not really fussed about watching like new movies or whatever, but my TV screen was not working and it kept glitching and I really wanted to watch Elvis Presley movie. And I watched half of it and then the screen would just go blank and it's like glitching. Um, and it just felt like a really squished, stressful experience. Um, I did have a nap for like two hours, so I think that helped because I just didn't feel great this morning. But I'm here, I've eaten, I'm in Ho Chi Minh airport, I'm at the domestic terminal waiting for my connecting flight with Vietjet Air. The flight was so cheap, it was like less than $100 return. So I'm flying back to Ho Chi Minh in about eight days time to meet my friend Ellen, which I'm so excited about. I kind of just can't wait to get to the hostel and just have a sleep and wake up and just explore the crap out of Hanoi this weekend. So I'm really excited 
to bring you guys on this backpacking adventure through Vietnam and Cambodia. So I left the house at 7 a.m. this morning and it is actually four hours behind. So right now I've been on the road from 7 a.m. till 11 p.m. and I still have like four more hours to go. Right, so we are at the final leg of the day nearly. I'm just gonna go and get my flight to Hanoi and then I will see you guys when I'm there, I guess. So let's go. My bag is wet, I'm off to the hostel, I'm gonna see you guys in the morning. And just like that, we have landed in Hanoi. I had the best sleep that I needed last night. I'm staying in Nexi Hostel, really affordable. Okay. So, thank you for watching this video, guys. I am sure it has been all over the place. I feel a lot more refreshed and like energized this morning. I'm excited to be in Vietnam. We have the craziness that is Hanoi, so make sure you hit subscribe down below to see all the Vietnam and Cambodia vlogs. I'm so excited. I'm just gonna immerse myself in all the food and everything these countries have to offer. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Take care and peace out. Um, really affordable accommodation in Vietnam, blah, blah, blah. Well, good morning. I don't even know what I'm saying. If you're new around here, my name is Dane. Um, I'm currently in Australia and this is really awkward because there are so many people walking around me. Oh, okay.